we set out to buy the most obscure car that we could find for an upcoming competition. It's time to push the envelope, it's time to build something weird, and it's time to build something fast. Judging by the title and thumbnail, you guys can already see, we are now about to be the owners of a 1999 Plymouth Prowler. Oh, it's way better <laughs> than I thought it was going to. Oh, you thought it was going to be junk? Oh, yeah. I was expecting like a total junker. Really? Or, yeah. <laughs> this is super. <laughs> the lemon door is sick, dude. Oh, man. I like this. It's bro. got a lot of cool custom stuff yeah. that they did back, back in the day, like the bumper delete. And this is all right. custom. It's got a rear roll pan. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. That's completely this. custom. Bumper delete. Oh, man. That's pretty neat. Yeah. It sick. looks so tiny in here. Wanna give it a crank? You wanna try? Yeah, yeah let's see try what it. happens. All right, so we replaced the battery, still didn't start. The seller said that he's been having issues with the ignition column, so he actually bought a whole new one, and it's right there, which, which he's gonna provide to us. So hopefully with that, we'll be able to get the starter, but at, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, because the whole entire powertrain is leaving the area, right? We're taking everything here off, and we're replacing it with everything, all new stuff, and amazing, good racing parts, so. Car looks mad, it's time to push this thing up on the trailer, get it tied down, get back to the shop, and show the boys. Time is running out. I have to tell you that Throttle's tactical transformation, the submissions are gonna be closing pretty soon. So in case you missed it, we are running a contest to transform an active US military or retired veterans truck or car here at Throttle 100% for free. So if you are in the military or you were in the military, you're eligible to submit your car or truck for free. Check out the link in the video description and fill out the form. It takes five minutes or less and the submissions so far are super awesome. Thank you guys, now back to the video. Ladies and gentlemen, we officially own a Plymouth Prowler. Ah! <laughs> Woo! Doesn't start yet, but it will. <laughs> this may be the weirdest purchase yet. They have bought like 50 cars, maybe even more than that for throttle. This may be the absolute weirdest one I've ever purchased. Definitely this, not this, my first choice. This is a Becky purchase, I'll tell you that. But you know what happened. But I think it has potential. It has potential. It has you a have lot to of potential. squint. You have to think about what this project is. And also, like, I want to push the envelope a little bit and do something that's not just of the norm. So I think this is going to be pretty crazy. And we bought this one site unseen. It has one quirk that I think is going to be pretty that funny. That we know of. That we know of. There's probably a couple more, but there's one very big quirk that I think is pretty Maybe funny. to hype up the audience, we could pop up a little rendering on okay. screen. Let's give pop them, that up. We'll give them a little just, hint so they get excited. You know what's funny to me is how many times we've done this. We've this. stood in this very exact spot. <laughs> the camera's out. We got everything ready. We're waiting for them to drive in. Oh, there it is. There, there it, is. it is. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Hey, at least it's murdered out. Yo, it's kind of, I mean, it's a good spec and I'm glad that it's this color. I'm glad it's black. Let's go. 1999 Plymouth Prowler. Prowler, oh, baby. My God. When's the last time you guys have seen one of these? What is this <laughs> thing? I don't think I've ever even seen the inside of one of these things. Dude, I've never cared for these cars. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. No! <laughs> Lamborghini. <laughs> no, it's a Lambo. I told you it had one quirk. It's the it's the Lauer. Oh my God, this is the weirdest car. Ever. It's so you interesting. have to sit it's in tiny. It. You in have there. to sit. You'd yeah. hop in. You have to sit in it. No, the car's in good shape. No, no, cars are pretty yeah, good yeah, shape. Yeah, this is just super weird. It is weird. What a weird You fit car. in there? It's like a little Miata. It's very small. Where, where did Towards you? you? It is tight. Yeah. Oh, at least the standard. It's got a little tachometer up. right here. It's like a auto meter gauge pod. It is auto meter. 
black pipes in the back. What a weird thing. Uh, bumper deletes front and back. It's got some weird features. This thing is yeah. 295 from the factory. Really? And it makes like 250 <laughs> horsepower. We have a big challenge ahead of us to try to make this thing cool, but I think we can do it. As you guys saw by the renders, we have some pretty cool ideas and we may even have some other ideas that we're gonna have to throw into the mix to try to make this thing cool. But first things first, let's get this thing unloaded, get it inside and start tearing it down. We got the Prowler up under the rack, and this is definitely a really funky car. A lot of really interesting things that we're noticing. So like the whole front suspension is pretty wild. So this is the sway bar. It's literally like that long. Super weird setup, whole cantilever suspension, which is really cool. The engine does spin, which is good. So I put a socket on it, it does spin, which is a good sign. We do have some oil leaks, and this thing's gonna come out anyway, so it doesn't matter. But this also has like a torque tube setup, kind of like a C6, where it comes off the back. I think the converter's back here. I'm not 100% sure, but then it goes to pretty much the drive shaft and then the transmission's back here, which is really weird. This thing's also leaking a lot of fluid. So this car does have an aluminum frame and it doesn't have like a bolt-in subframe. All the control arms mount off of the actual frame of the car, which is really interesting. So this is gonna be a really weird car to build, I think, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. Also, it's a body on frame, which is kind of cool. I thought it was totally gonna be a unibody, but it's not. So definitely a really weird car and kind of cool. So looking forward to tearing into this thing and learn more about it and start playing with it. So when we tried to start it, it wouldn't crank over. Robert was saying it was a bad ignition switch. So we actually bought a whole used column here and I took it apart. So I think we are going to take the ignition switch off of this, put it onto the one in the car or replace the one in the car and see if it'll fire up. Cause I kind of want to drive this thing in stock form before we rip it apart and change everything just to kind of get a baseline of how it drives. So we're going to swap it out right now. So I've been trying to get the Prowler fired up. It's not looking good. Can't get the starter relay to work. Fuel pump relay is not kicking on. I tried jumping into the ECU. ECU is not powering up. So it would have been really fun to get this thing fired up running and drive it around before we stripped it all down and build what we're gonna build. Unfortunately, it's just not gonna happen. It's not worth the time and the effort to fix it, get it working correctly. We're gonna start stripping the car down instead. We're gonna rip the engine out, the transmission out, all the suspension is coming out. Everything is getting stripped. Let's get this thing torn down. So now that we got all of the body off the car, it looks really weird, but I'm gonna start draining all the fluids, get the AC drained, and start taking all of the framing, the bars, the engine, the radiator, all that stuff out. And we're gonna have a pretty soon, I guess, does this even count as an engine bay anymore? Cause it's not uh, like. <laughs> I mean, the engine's still there, so yes. Well, once, yeah, but what do you call this an engine bay? Now that there's no like bay in it anymore. We're just gonna take all the stuff out. So engine's coming out, the whole front of the car is getting stripped down. Hopefully we can get it down to almost just a frame. be removing the drive shaft out the way which is right in between the transmission and the engine and once i get that off we'll be able to get one more motor mount which is being blocked by the drive shaft once that's done we'll be able to strap the engine down to the engine hoist and we'll be able to remove it Okay, so I think I have 100% everything that's completely around the engine, completely removed and detached. There should be no hiccups. This is not attached to anything. So we should be able to just strap this thing down to the hoist, lift it up and take it right out without any issues. Everything is completely, completely separated. Let's get to work, baby.
Ricky got the engine out completely, which is good, and he started stripping the rear end, so we're, now we're gonna work on getting this weird transaxle set up out in the back. We're gonna grab the cooler off, take some of these braces off, and then we're gonna go for the axles, get the axles out, and then see how much of a pain it is to drop this rear transmission. The transmission is just about ready to come out of the car, but before we do that, we're gonna actually roll it outside, pressure wash the engine bay, get all the dust and dirt out of the way so we don't have to do it later and we don't have to worry about it. Because as soon as the transmission's coming out, the rest of the rear suspension is gonna follow suit. All the control arm spindles, everything is going to come off and then essentially it's gonna be bricked on the rack until the car is nearly complete. So while we still can roll it outside, we're going to clean it off and then bring it back in, pull the trans out. This Prowler, Prowler. Prowler. Prowler has the weirdest sway bars front and rear I've ever seen in my life. This is like absurdly thin for a rear sway bar and it's really wide. And the front sway bar is like the tiniest bar I've ever seen in my life. Ever. 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 And it looks very weirdest strong. weirdest thing, man. Now that all of the huge components of the powertrain is out, which is the engine, transmission, rear suspension, all that stuff, now we're gonna start tackling all of the minor, smaller things. Getting the wiring harnesses out, getting the brakes off, all the EVAP stuff we're not gonna be using, things in the engine bay. We are definitely 100% gonna have to modify the transmission tunnel list to get the new engine and transmission package to fit. And we have brake lines running across the little X brace in the engine bay that we're probably gonna have to modify, so we gotta take those out. And just kind of general cleanup, all the stuff we're not gonna be using in the car is just gonna be coming out. We want this thing to be light and quick and fun to drive. So we're gonna take all that stuff out and now it's just gonna be a whole bunch of little things essentially and then pretty soon we'll be done stripping the car and ready for a new powertrain to show up. In order to get this thing light, the guys are removing the dashboard. It's quite an interesting dash assembly. Just like the rest of this car, it's kind of the opposite of what you would think it's supposed to be. They're getting that out. We're gonna look behind it, see what's there. Heater core, air conditioning, all that stuff's gonna get pulled out in the uh, spirit of making this thing lighter. I pulled the door card off, pulled the glass and everything out. So this thing's not gonna have any windows, it's not gonna have a top. So we don't need glass anymore. One of the really cool things with these, with these doors is without the glass in them, they're really light. So they actually function all by themselves, which is pretty cool. So when Ricky gets out, of this thing or whatever while we're racing. So I just kick it open and the doors can open up all by itself. Pretty neat. Prowler is completely stripped down. All the terrible parts are off the car, which is good. Because, which is pretty much everything. Yeah, pretty much 90% <laughs> of it. So now we're gonna start so that, rebuilding this thing. Does that mean all the terrible parts are off or the car was just terrible in general? Undecided yet, <laughs> but all the really junk parts are out of the car. Everything's on the ground. We threw it on the ground in front of the car like we always do. And uh, now we're gonna have to clean it up. But the better part is, is the car is ready to receive an epic new powertrain. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next episode.